asked about the ruling on praying in one's shoes. Is it permissible? It is permissible. And uh, does it mean that we should enter the masjid with the shoes on? Well, I just said it is permissible, which means it's also permissible to pray barefooted. And we have references in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during um, uh, during one of the prayers, he was wearing his boots, then he took them off and he kicked them away. And right away the companions did likewise after him. So when he finished, he saw them barefooted. He said, why did you do that? They said, we just imitated you. He said, I did because Jibreel came to me and said that your shoes were not clean. They had some impurities. So I took them off because in one of the prerequisites of the validity of the prayer is at-tahara, purification of one's clothes, of one's body, and, and so on. So basically, it is permissible. And that's, that's why the Prophet ﷺ prayed without his boots on. And in ihram, you wear slippers or shoes beneath the ankles, or you walk barefooted and you pray as well. So if the masjid is furnished with carpet for innocence I would not bring the dirt from outside and walk in uh, and, and mess up the place I would like to pray with the shoes on in my house be my guest so if you're traveling if you're in the plane you don't have to take your shoes off the shoes the boots the sandals have nothing to do with the validity of the prayer you can pray with them on or you can take them off it's your call it's not required to do either one of them